Dogs versus Cats, a parable about nuclear disarmament. This is Nuke, and Nuke likes cats. He thinks they're smart and sly. They are soft and purry, and they make Nuke a happy guy. This is Lear, and Lear likes dogs. He likes that dogs are loyal and true. They like walks and kisses and treats, and they make Lear a happy dude. Now, Nuke saw Lear's dogs and shook his head in dismay. To show Lear cats were better, he had to find a way. I'll get more cats. I'll show Lear who's who. I'll get more cats. That's just what I'll do. Dogs you see are no longer in style. Cats will reign better in just a short while. So up he went and off he ran. Off to grow his feline clan. Lear watched what Nuke did. It made him upset her. He couldn't let Nuke think that cats were better, so Lear knew what he had to do. He had one dog, but that was too few. Dogs are the best, he shouted with a jump. He started crafting a plan to show Nuke what was up. He thought this whole thing could be solved with such ease. I'll get five more dogs, if I please. So... Now Nuke, he got frightfully mad. So many dogs he thought was so bad. I had my pets, I had them first. Now he has too many, Lear is just the worst. He wanted to be great, superior than Lear. I'll get even more cats, he said with a cheer. Hurrah. Lear watched with a grimace and a frown. He couldn't let Nuke and his cats rule this town. The cats with their claws and all of that stuff. Cats as pets are not good enough. With dogs, there's no greater friend you can find, for dogs are the very best pet of all kind. I know how to show Nuke up all over again. I'll go and make an even bigger dog pen. And the dogs would bark really loud. They would keep people away. That's how it continued. Day after day, the cats were independent, sometimes hissing if you came near. The cats acted in charge. This continued year after year. As they collected more pets, their homes continually grew. More dogs, more cats, turning the town into a chaotic zoo. Now the rest of this town saw this and they said, This must cease. We'll sit them down to talk. We'll call it nuclear peace. Mr. Nuke, Mr. Lear, this has gotten out of hand. We don't think this is going as either of you planned. You keep collecting pets, trying to be bigger and strong. But it comes a time when having so many pets is wrong. You each have so many pets, the numbers are way too great. It's time to end this argument. It's never too late. You've collected so many animals, now this feels like a trap. But we have a solution to fix it in a snap. So we recommend a way if you both agree. But you both have to do it. Your commitment is key. Mr. Nuke, your cats, they're glorious and grand. Wouldn't you like to share that love with the land? Mr. Lear, your dogs, they are loyal and sweet. Wouldn't sharing their love with others be a treat? Let's find those pets all a new home. Spread the love they can give in another place they can roam. We can fix this real quick. We just need some. We need to work with some speed. And if you both can commit, this will work guaranteed. The nuclear peace talks really did some good. Both Nuke and Lear finally understood. We all live in this town. We all are together. Would a world without so much chaos be better? But her story doesn't stop, it doesn't end there. There was one more lesson that both Nuke and Lear would share. Nuke was a cat guy, that was all he knew. Lear was a dog guy, so what else was there to do? The town helped show them that no one pet was the best. While you might like one pet better, it's no greater than the rest. Both are different and different is okay. Each is something special and is unique in their own way. Nuke shared that cats can be fun. They're curious and discreet. They are playful and cuddly. Cats are both adventurous and sweet. Lear shared his love for dogs. They can do tricks and are smart. They are. They can be comforting and cute. They have a big heart. Well, as the talks finished, I'm happy to say both Nuke and Lear became quite smart that day. It would be better if we learned to talk first and not always assume the other is worst. We can learn from each other, gain some respect, and that alone can have a profound effect. So the next time you start acting like a dictator, remember the nuclear peace talks and aim to be greater. The end.